Welcome back to Young at Heart. Uh, I'm Jim Johnson and I'm joined here by Flo Provenza. Yes, that's right. Nice to meet you in person. I have talked about you on upcoming shows, but I've never had the pleasure of actually sitting down and chatting with you. Yeah, I don't think we have ever been together before. No, we have not. <laughs> so this is the first time, folks. Um, and you are uh, the resident historian of sorts here? Well, that's what they what say. Do you like to, what do you like to be called? What do I like what about What do you like to be called? What do you like us to call you? Resident historian? The old lady. The old, no. <laughs> no, we already have that reserved for other people. Oh. <laughs> You're just teasing. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll call you the resident historian. So um, we were talking off camera a little bit about the history of Pahrump. Um, I guess um, you know you can tell us a little bit more about what's going on. Um, Carol actually referenced earlier that there was a sign out today that mentions it's the 50th yes, anniversary. Yes. So what's this all about? Oh, well, I already told her and she already told the public. Oh, uh, well, well, let's, let's go <laughs> they a little cut deeper off, into it. They cut off the chicken ranch down at the end. Okay. <laughs> now, so was the chicken ranch, and for those of you that don't know, it's not really chickens. There's not yeah. chickens out there. The Albertsons lady was already here. They sell chickens. I think it's 99 cents a pound. This is different. So a brothel. Well, it was a good name for it at the time. It was, the a, yeah. Ranch. Did people do the chicken dance? Something like that, Something, I guess. I don't something know. Something like that. I went down there a couple times. <laughs> I. They well, used to, yes. What did you do? Well, I brought a couple of shirts because they had some shirts. <laughs> they had a I, gift I shop. can't say what they said on Right. Them. I can tell you a funny story about Please one. Please do. Tell us I a I brought funny my story. sister in on there to buy one of the shirts okay. one time. She bought a shirt and brought it to her son who worked for the sheriff's department in San Bernardino County. Mm -hmm. They had a big robbery one time and he was chasing the people who were the robbers. Yeah. They got caught him back up in the hills. It happened he had that shirt on underneath his uniform. Right. He got shot. Oh, that? They shot him in the shoulder. Uh -huh. And the television cameras were there. And he's, they're trying to get at his wound. <laughs> right. And he's holding <laughs> his upper shirt <laughs> over <laughs> his undershirt. <laughs> so it wouldn't show on television. Oh, this is why your mom always told you to make sure that your underwear was clean and proper. Clean, yes. <laughs> you in never two, know. In, in two ways. In two ways. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Because first you say it and then you do it. But in this case, it was just yeah, the shirt. Yeah, but she came said. back a couple of months later and we got him a new shirt. Was he okay? Did he make oh, it? Oh, yeah. He made it fun. <laughs> made it. Maybe a little embarrassed. Caught the robbers. Needed a new shirt. Yeah. Yeah. You would think that the folks out there at the chicken ranch would have given him a free shirt well, for the publicity. Well, we didn't ask, you know. We, we didn't, didn't spend much time out there. Oh, I can understand. Run out, buy the shirt, and leave. We have, we have strayed way off track, so. <laughs> well, um, so you have a, a newspaper here, and I think we have, we have uh, we've taken some images of it so they can put that up as you tell us about this newspaper and what we're, what we're looking at here today. Okay, okay. Um, uh, my son Jan got a... Uh, well, in those days, you call it a job, but you generally didn't get paid. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but he worked for the fellow who had the newspaper. Okay. He has a picture of uh, I'll open it so, but, so I think I we can, can put that up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But anyhow, this is Denny Lynch. That's a picture of Denny Lynch okay. if he has it. And uh, Denny started this there paper. There we go. Yeah. There was another paper at the same time. Mm -hmm. He was quite a character. A lot of people knew him, a nice guy. And my son Jan went and helped him. Okay. And uh, in fact, the, one of the first articles in there about trying to start a place to keep the wild animals that mm -hmm. were roaming around. And uh, Jan wrote some articles. And his friend, Kenny Plue, became the assistant editor of the paper. And they started it in, what was it, 70? Well, they made the first misprint was the it's a way to start this newspaper because they said that it was established in 1979 but this is an issue from uh march of 1979 oh gosh and we've actually got that up there on uh, yeah. the screen right now it was 78 that, that they started and the, the subscription newspaper. rates to be announced so what did the, what did you do if you went to get the one of the first papers were they giving it away for free they gave it away for free and he also has a picture of Everybody in the county, mm -hmm. the amount of papers mailed 
to wow. each place. You would think that, of course, it had to be free because he wasn't charging, he wasn't giving anybody any pay to work there either. So, uh, you know, he had wow. ads in there. He had ads. Uh, yeah, there, we had at least two or three people selling land out here. Okay. I never advertised. I had a, I had a real estate, but I never advertised because I used to work in Vegas and I got all the people. Right. From I didn't right. have to advertise. Exactly. Word of mouth. Exactly. Word of mouth. Wow. So this is the first paper and the first yeah. error. Is yeah. there anything in here? Here's, there he's got on the list of oh. how many people. No, let me tell you that one. Okay. Let's take this. Uh, there let's you take go. a look here. Let's take a gander, folks. We're looking at in the paper. In there were three. one thousand seventy-five. Uh, addresses that means businesses right probably the chicken ranch right there. Was out of parole did they count that as just one or did they have to count up all the girls i don't know i don't know how they did it i don't know how and then how did. do you know i remember when their <laughs> chef quit at the chicken ranch yeah people are eating there oh they oh, were yeah, right he, oh yeah that just seems like oh, some well they got to feed the people violation. down there they have to feed the people i guess so you need sustenance Work, yes, interesting. Yes. And, and I, when, the, when the chef quit, I told my husband, he's a good cook, I said, why don't you go down and get the job? <laughs> he said, no thanks. That would be the kind of job that I would volunteer to do for free. <laughs> that and this one. So. Okay, let me, see how many, let me see how many people there were in Beatty. In Beatty, there were 400 addresses right. in Beatty. Yeah. And Tonopah had a thousand. Wow. We beat Tonopah way back then. You, wow! You would. And think, they were the county seat. I would have thought there'd be more people in Beatty because it's easier to pronounce than Tonopah. Well, that's true. But then yeah, there were only like there. Manhattan, thirty-five. Right. Wow. Uh, where else? Warm Springs had twenty. And, and we're looking at. Uh, is this the front of the paper we're looking at right there? There. Uh, okay. Now so there was an airplane crash. Oh. That's what this paper was okay. for. And uh, they didn't find the pilot. I don't know if they, they found out that the plane came out of some other state. Right. I don't. The pilot was not dead, in spite of the fact that the front of the plane was a bit really? of a wreck. Yeah. He didn't die. Maybe he jumped did out. They, did they add him onto the population roster for the paper? Or? No. There's no? no address there. No address. <laughs> and they didn't want anybody down there. They right. said, "Don't go down there because they were waiting for the federal sure, sure. to get there and check it out." And so but I know where he was headed. I think. <laughs> I think I know where he's headed. I think Let I me know tell where you where. He's headed too. If you go out on that <laughs> end of town, there's a turnoff that goes to a place where they also have chickens. Real chickens, no. or uh, well, n not. I've never been there, so I can't tell you for sure. Oh. But anyhow, there were a lot of people that went past town and turned left out there. Oh. And I think he might have been trying to land somewhere. Trying to get there, yeah. There. He should have tried the other ranch. He should have probably just gone to the other ranch. It would yes, have been easier. absolutely. Wow. But um, anyhow, that, you know, that's one of the things. What else did we have in there? Oh, the Humane Society. Mm -hmm. June Fry, and she was a great gal. She worked Sheriff's Department, but she... Did she have the t-shirt? No, 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 no. She took care of dogs and animals. Oh, okay. I told you we had more right, wild right. animals out here, you know. I had my little uh, small mobile home out on the highway trying to hope somebody would stop with yeah. a flat tire or something so I could sell them some property. Right. And, <laughs> and, and they get a dog with the property, too? Yes. Yes. <laughs> every, every dog that was wandering around. We tried to round up, and June Fry tried to take care of him, and she and my son put up some fencing, and a woman oh. donated some land. This is fa I want to ask you this. We only got a couple minutes left, but 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 this is fascinating to me. Like, I want a three-bedroom house and a border collie. Can I? Is this the combo? Did you? Absolutely. I had a selection? tricky way of leaving ho uh, dogs too. You know, a like if they weren't home them? and they had a couple kids, I'd leave a nice, friendly dog oh, and say, see. "Tell your parents if they don't want it, I'll have it euthanized." Right. And then the kids were like, "It's already a young keep dog." It. I mean, it looks. Keep it. How could it be younger? Yeah. Younger. Youth. That's right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. The highway got empty after that. <laughs> oh wow. From dogs, anyhow. <laughs> oh my gosh. We time has flown by. This is our first time out here together, but we had fun. We're gonna do our own radio show. Bye now. There we go. We're gonna wrap up, Flo. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming, and uh, we're gonna just stretch for just a little bit. Just stretch it out. The producer said to stretch, so we're oh, stretching. Stretch it out. So we'll be we right back cage. after these commercials, right here on Young and Heart. Don't be a chicken.